So, our first interview is going to be with our first guest, which is Commander Aaron Starr of the Elite Pilot Guide. This is a 104-page guide. The link to it is in the show notes to the PDF. If you have a friend that is starting Elite out, because we all know that the learning uh, curve in Elite is more like a learning cliff. If you have a friend that's starting out, give them this guide. And obviously, you still want to help them and guide them whenever you can personally. But at times when you're at work and they can't get an answer or it's two in the morning and they're sitting there and they they don't want to call you, uh, you know, make sure they have this because they can flip through to this guide. Like I said, 104 pages, very extensive and basically see to get sort of a clue about just about anything this is the definitive starter guide to elite dangerous and he is doing an upgrade now to sort of revise it to include all of the stuff for odyssey in the show notes you're going to have the link to the existing pdf you're going to have a link to his youtube page the website and the discord aaron hello hello and welcome Hey there, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your guide and the revision that you're doing now and just, you know, some some more information about the whole thing. Sure. So yeah, the uh, the guide was kind of the brainchild of um, my experience starting off Elite kind of back towards when it launched. And uh, originally, the group that I joined, EXO, uh, was kind of the first big group on uh, Xbox platform when mm. uh, Elite transitioned uh, into the console realm. So... I kind of just, obviously, like you said, felt like Elite had such a steep learning curve that after you know I had spent a year or maybe two years playing it, mm -hmm. I wanted to create something that would kind of help new players find their feet without you know throwing their controller across the room or breaking their computer monitor. And so I uh, I took some of the help from people within EXO and then uh, went ahead and authored this guide and yeah we pushed it out for exo and we're in the process right now of updating it for for odyssey right on man that's beautiful well uh you know uh i gotta i'm gonna i'm gonna get my my cm hat on here i'm gonna be a community manager and in interview i'm very honest and i honestly want to tell you with all honesty that uh i think your <laughs> your book is awesome man your your guide is very very cool um how, about how long are you thinking Time frame wise, and, and, and obviously I'm not asking for like a locked in date, but just a ballpark about how long are you thinking until like, hey, we'll have sort of the new version out for people to look at. Well, thankfully I'm not Frontier, so I'm not going to release it tomorrow and uh, and have nothing nothing new for everyone to try. But um, it's, uh, it's looking like probably towards the end of July is when I'm hoping to have the Odyssey update released. Uh, right now we're working on the corrections to par the part of the guide that's already um, available to everybody because a lot of the things in that portion have actually changed with the Odyssey update, and I, I expect most of that to kind of stay the same. Um, I'm I'm waiting on the Odyssey portion primarily because uh, I'm trying to give Frontier a little time to kind of, you know, fix their shit and get everything looking pretty. And then once they've had enough time to kind of uh, adjust all of the levels and, you know, iron out all the bugs, mm -hmm. uh, that's when I'm hoping to release the Odyssey guide portion. Uh, Roy, I know you had a point on this. Aaron's guide reminds me of the beautiful hard copy guides that used to come in the box with complex games. I'm sure many of you remember those. Um, you know, uh, beautifully formatted pictures, little diagrams showing tactics, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, when I, you know, when games used to come with stuff like that for me, that was half the fun was reading the manual. I don't know if that makes me strange, but no, I anyway, I I completely get it. I understand. I used to love those back in the day, the the old big games that you would get. You would get those TSR games or like Wizardry mm -hmm. Seven, and you had that massive tone. I remember distinctly remember cracking open wizardry 7 and uh it had that that big it was a beefy tome and it had those guys the rhinoceros guys that had the blunderbusses and they were like super law and order and if you ever went into one of their areas you had to like mind your p's and q's or you'd get in massive trouble very very good stuff with this player group exodus coalition you guys have sort of done a lot of stuff to like in the early earlier days, I mean, you guys were fairly massive back in the days of like the uh, dangerous games and all the the thing that put in Yuri Grom and power play and all. Yeah, yeah, that's actually kind of kind of the heyday I had, I guess, in Elite. Not that I don't play, but um, we were kind of influential in forming the Galactic Cooperative, uh, which was 
something that is kind of from the old Elite Games lore. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Galcop, Kind of yeah. makes its way. Yeah, Galcop. So we actually uh, kind of reformed Galcop with some of the other player player groups like the Diamond Frogs. And uh, originally we had the East India uh, Company and some other groups were, were part of it as well. But um, we were kind of the main competition for the, uh, the Russian group that ended up, unfortunately, in my perspective, winning the Dangerous Games. But it was still a very fun process and, and a yeah. lot of good things came out of it. So Hell yeah. And you know what? I'm going to, uh, this is the, the, the glass full of whiskey, of, of uh, yeah, uh, old money whiskey that I poured. I'm going to down this in salute of the Diamond Frogs who are uh, having so much trouble with this whole uh, anarchy thing. So <sighs> that one's for you guys. First off, I've been playing this game for a good while and I consider myself above average in my knowledge of the elite sort of extended universe and the community and whatnot. I've done a little digging into some things and I cannot believe that before this, you know, like uh, meeting you to discuss this and whatever, I was unaware of this guide. I, I need to say this because I feel like I knew a lot about elite and I didn't know of it. Everyone who is listening to this, the link is in the show notes, uh, which will be posted about an hour or so after the show goes live. In fact, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I put it in Twitch as well. Yeah. I'm going to copy it right now and put it in the YouTube. This guide go right now. Whoever is, is hearing this, go post it in your, discord of choice or several discords of choice spread this around for people this is an invaluable resource that new players sort of need to have so make sure let's do a big wave of getting this out for people and then obviously coming up as as the guide gets updated let's spread it around again and really get the numbers up because this will be very very helpful to new people so i i uh I just want to make sure that we we promote the hell out of that and and salute you, Aaron. And for sure, stay with us as we go on our drunken guide through the galaxy or trip through the galaxy and uh, and and <laughs> comment on the news. All right, brother. Yeah, absolutely.